All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, let's filter this data so we don't have all the countries coming back. So I'm just gonna kill the uh, server from running. And what we have to do is we have to make a new variable outside of this return statement. So I'm just gonna make some room up here. And this is gonna be a const. And I'm just gonna call it um, filtered stations. Actually, we're in JavaScript, so I should do a camel case, I guess. Filtered stations. Now, this is going to be equal to Tesla data dot filter. So, this is another method we can do on arrays. And we're going to filter this Tesla. This is just a variable. You can call it whatever you want, but this represents like each. Um, the variable every time it loops, if that makes sense. And now we're just going to give it a function here. And we're going to say, so every time it loops, what are we trying to do? Like what, what are we comparing or what are we filtering? And this is going to be basically a uh, conditional. And we're just going to say Tesla dot address dot country is equal to and now we're going to specify a country. So if you look at this data, you see that we have address and then country. So that's why we had to say um, tesla.address.country. And let's just set this equal to Italy, for example. And then um, now that we have this new array, basically down here, instead of um, mapping through this Tesla data that we imported, we're going to now map through our new filtered stations. Filtered stations. So if I start this project, we should right now just get back um, stuff in Italy. And you notice we don't see any points. And it's, it's always zooming us right to London. So we need to change that in a sec. But if we zoom out, there you go. We see we just have stuff in Italy. Uh, don't have pop-ups working yet, so let's change the um, the default starting point. So we need to get the um, lat long of Italy, I guess, for example. So I'm just going to zoom in here and click, and now these are the values that we're going to want to use for um, this right here, this map container center. So we have latitude longitude all right let's try that so if i refresh you notice it looks you can't really tell where we are but looking at some of these names it, it looks like we could be in italy but if we zoom out you see we are in italy so we just have to set the default zoom differently so instead of 13 let's try like six and refresh and that looks perfect all right so that's good now let's get these pop-ups working so the pop-ups they similar to like um, this marker it's gonna be some HTML but it, it's a react component but we need to put a pop-up inside of this marker so it's a new component called pop-up so we can just say pop up. And the reason this is a thing is because we're importing this pop up from the React leaflet package. So that's why that works. Um, so we need to say pop up and very similar to the marker, we need to give it uh, a position. So before I get too confused, let me do that. And then this needs to be inside of here. So this is, let me stop this thing. This is going to drive me crazy. All right, position. And this is just going to be the same as, we can just copy this actually. Because the pop-up's going to be on the same location as the marker. All right. So there's the position, and now let's just make a div, HTML div, 
and inside of it we can put an h2 for a header and then we should just be able to access tesla dot name and i'm getting name from this json file so name is that value right there so i think that's uh worth putting on the pop-up so um Let's also add some text here that just says name. All right, I think this is looking good. So let's just make this look a little more human readable. So, so this makes more sense to me in this format. So we have a marker and then we have the closing of the marker, we have pop up, the pop up, and this should be indented a little bit. Actually, wouldn't mind indenting that too. All right, let's see if this works. All right. With any luck, this will work. Okay, so we have our Italy points, and there we go. We have our pop-ups with just that name value. Um, so let's let's keep the name, but let's also add a little bit more information there. So instead of H2s, why don't we just do paragraphs? And let's have two of them. And let's just see what else we can get from this JSON. So I like status. I think that's that's a good piece of info. And date opened. I like that too. Oh, stall counts. Pretty interesting too. Yeah, let's do stall count. So I guess that's you know how many chargers there actually are. So we can just say um, status. And then just say Tesla dot status. And then this is going to be number of charging stations. And this will be whatever that was, stall count. All right, cool, there we go. So we have the name, status, and the number of charging stations. And that's awesome. That is what I wanted to show you how to do. I uh, hope that was helpful. And yeah, like I said in the, in the first video, the goal is to eventually get some Strava data on here. So I wanna, um, in React, I want to hit um, the Strava API for a particular user. So for like myself, I would hit my Strava API endpoint, uh, authenticate, and then get back all of like my most recent runs. And then instead of having these points here, I'm actually going to display where I ran, like in the form of a line. Um, so yeah, if that is interesting, keep watching. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.